Ladies, we fucked up. Okay, well, white ladies. In a week that hasn't ceased to shock me, there's one shocking result that keeps echoing through my mind above all others. More than Steve birth control makes women attractive and crazy Bannon getting a key advisory role in the administration. More than Mike, what if women go get raped on purpose to get days off work pence, being the actual goddamn vice president-elect. And that result is a number. 53%. 53% of white women who voted in this election thought bragging about sexual assault was not a disqualifying action to be president. 53% of white women felt that a man who, earlier this year, tried to enforce mandatory funerals for abortions was fit to be vice president. I mean, fuck, 42% of all women voted for him. 26% of Latinas voted for him. That's more than one out of four women that thought emails and WikiLeaks mattered more than a man who is on record saying they are unqualified for certain jobs due to their race. And that brings me to the we've all learned something here today moment. And if you ask me, the big takeaway from this election is that we need a shit ton more feminism, not less. Right now, there are voices, even within our own movement, that want more than anything to shut us up. See, they cry. This is what happens when you complain so much. We menfolk get pissed off and elect Donald Trump. Remember how much better for women it was before feminism? We were so much nicer then. Don't you read the news? Look how we're all treating women just because he got elected. Don't you like this better? Hasn't America truly become great again? And look. This doesn't bear out numerically. It doesn't bear out logically. It's just, well, if the only tool in your toolbox is misogyny, everything starts to look like a female. But that 53% haunts me. And I'll tell you why. To me, it's a message that 53% of white women in this country, 42% of all women in this country, need to learn that they deserve better. And if you were one of them, if you didn't vote because you couldn't be bothered or if you voted third party, and yes, even if you voted for Trump, I want you to know you deserve better than what's coming. And when it does, I'll be here to tell you about it. And on that note, I'll turn things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.